Today we are going to see how we will install SG command. So it, this is a package manager. Uh, it's a cross, yeah, cross OS uh, package manager. You can install in macOS, Linux, Windows. Uh, so it's a very helpful to tool for installing new softwares. So today we are going to see how we will going to install SDK man. So I'm going. Uh, I actually went this SDK man website. So uh, I'm moving to here. You can see what SDK man provides us. So it's a tool for managing prior version for multiple software tapes uh, or most unit based systems. It provides a convenient command line interfaces, API for installing, switching, removing. Uh, so it's a, a very good package manager actually. And also it's mentioned about the Ruby environment manager. Mm, uh, so probably the language will be Ruby. I am not sure what exactly it is. So what I am going to do is I need to install this one. So we will what we will go we will go here and we will copy this uh, yeah this line of code or um, actually the command and paste it here my, okay yeah something happened so it's st command yeah yeah it's the GUI is very not GUI the command line is interesting yeah so what I am going to do is next we need to run this command. I'm not sure. Next you open a new terminal or enter this one. Then just SDK version, I guess. So what I'm going to do is paste it here. Uh, nothing happened. No. Uh, let me try the third command. SDK version, yeah, it's already installed. SDK version 5.1.3. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to do here is I need to test the SDK, right? So, what I'm going to do is I have another window here. So, with this SDK man, I can install, install Grady. So, I'm trying to install just Grady. I don't know which version it's going to install. Uh, let's see how the things going to happen. So, Gradle enter. So, oh, it's downloading Gradle 7.3. Okay, so this will be the latest version, I guess. I'm not sure anyway. But yeah, it's going to install the Gradle right now. So, we will see how uh, whether the installation is successful or not. And we are not going to see how we will manage multiple versions so the other uh, yeah the other yeah, okay so i know it's done so the other advantage using stk manage multiple version the support i don't know how it works but in this case i start grading so everything is perfect right now so it's very easy to use this stk man so it's also a trustable software so you don't need to worry about anything so that's exactly stk man will do for us it's it will do all the uh, package management software installation very smoothly not smoothly so if you are using some other package managers properly we will have some issues or something but in this case it looks like perfect so coding not just java python and other open source platform but i don't know what they mean by that i don't know anyway you say it's a jdk stks it is that stks okay so yeah everything that yeah, i mean using the stkman what are 
what are these softwares, what are the uh, SDKs available for us to install. So we install creator, right? And we are clicking on this, you can see that what are the version of it. Creator 7.3, 1.2, 5.0. So there are yeah, a lot of software available, but the thing is like uh, only, uh, only uh, uh, I mean, if some version, uh, some version probably will not include in this SDK man. I'm not sure about that also. The uh, the latest version we will get using the SDK man or not? I'm not sure. Maybe we can try. Maybe we can search what is the uh, latest version of trading right now. So trading the latest version. Or we can make sure whether stick a man will get the latest version or not. So uh, four days ago version 7.3. So it's probably the latest version. So that's also fine, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening, nice morning, nice or good night. Yeah. <laughs>